Hey, this is Joe Doman of Joe Knows Real Estate, uh, powered by Remax Gateway. We're coming to you today from the Brambleton Welcome Center here in Ashburn, Virginia. And I'm fortunate enough today to be with mortgage expert Leslie Wish of SunTrust Mortgage. Thanks for coming today. Um, what we're going to talk about today are interest rates. So interest rates are a super hot topic today. Everybody's talking about them. Um, in the past 45 days, they've jumped up almost a point. So where do you see interest rates going in 2011? Well, Joe, that is quite the hot topic these days. <laughs> right. Everybody wants to know about interest rates, and everybody's gotten used to interest rates being at historically low levels, which is where they are right now, sure. even though they have jumped up in the last 45 days. And everybody's big question is, are they going to go back down? And most ex experts would agree that no. Uh, we think we've seen our lowest windows uh, back in October. <coughs> However, uh, rates are remaining relatively stable and in good range. We do expect to see the interest rates go up, though, in 2011 with the economy improving. Okay. So this is a real tough one. In 30 seconds or less, is it possible to explain to people what QE2 is, which is obviously having a bearing on sure. what, what experts are predicting for 2011? Sure. Well, QE2 is quantitative easing 2. It's the second round of quantitative easing that the Fed has decided to uh, stimulate our economy with. And on November 4th, the Fed came in with QE2, and they had three main reasons for doing that. They wanted to stimulate the economy by spurring spending, which creates inflation. They wanted to lower the unemployment rate, and they wanted to push stocks higher, all to have a, a positive effect on the economy, which, of course, when the economy is improving, the interest rates tend to get a little worse. So as a general rule of thumb, what I've understood is interest rates take the elevator up and the escalator down. So if the Fed is trying to push up inflation, inflation is also supposedly the arch enemy of interest rates. So if that's part of this uh, the economic solution, so then is that what we're going to continue to see through the rest of the year, interest rates rising? Yes. and. <coughs> Most experts will agree that there's a 90% chance that with the Fed coming in and doing the quantitative easing as they're doing, that the Fed will raise interest rates by half a percent this year. And so expect to see our long-term interest rates, which drive the mortgage rates, go up this year, maybe a half a percent to three quarters of a percent. Uh, and that's where we'll end up. So is 4% hindsight 2020 now? Totally but hindsight. That's it? No more 4%? No more 4%. I wouldn't get your hopes up. I think the odds of that are very, very low. All right. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate you being out here today. Thanks again, Leslie. Thank you. Thanks.